In this video, I'm going to walk through the Helion Development Platform Quick Start Developer Trial. What this will do is it'll get the development platform, which is based on Active State Staccato or perhaps more notably the Cloud Foundry, installed on a VM that you can use to evaluate whether or not your applications fit well into the development platform. I'll be going through this process on an HPCloud.com VM. After logging into the Horizon dashboard, from the Manage Services Activate Services screen, you need to activate the compute service in the US East region. If you haven't activated it already, you'll see an activate button here. Once you do, as I have, and the status shows activated, you'll see that under the actions column, you can click on compute instances. So go ahead and click that, which brings you to the instances tab. And we're actually going to go down to the security and access tab first and add a security group. We're going to call this group SSH. This will allow us external SSH access. After creating the security group, we then want to manage rules, and we want to add a rule and leave it as a custom TCP rule for port 22, and click Add. Now we come back to the Access and Security menu item, and we want to generate a key pair and we provide a name. I'm going to call this HP Cloud, HDP for a Helion development platform, and create the pair. This downloads an HP Cloud-HDP.PEM. This PEM file contains everything you'll need to create a private key for accessing VMs created on HPCloud.com. The first step to use the PEM file is to open up PuttyGen. This is the PuTTY key generator, but instead of generating a key, we're going to choose load. And from the downloads folder, we will open the HP Cloud HDP PEM. And you'll see that we get a little message saying successfully imported foreign key. The first thing we want to do is save a private key version. And you'll say, are you sure you want to save it without a passphrase to protect it? You certainly can add in a passphrase. I'm going to choose yes. And then in my user directory, I have an SSH directory, and I'm going to call this HP Cloud HDP dot PPK. This is my private key. And I can also save my public key, HP Cloud, and that would be uh, pub. Now we'll come back to these keys in just a minute when we want to enable PuTTY to access VMs that we create. Now let's come back to the access and security link one more time. And this time we go to the floating IPs tab and we want to allocate an IP to this project. And we do want this to be an external IP. This is the IP we'll use to connect into our VMs. And you'll see now that it allocated an IP address, which we can use. This is a public IP address that we can use to access our VMs. Now let's come back under, notice we're in Project Compute, and we're in the US East region. We click on the Instances menu option, and we can click Launch Instance. This is what we want to do. And the first instance we're going to create is an installer for the dev platform. So let's call this HP Cloud HDP Installer. The small size should work just fine for this install, and we want to boot from image, and the image we're going to select is the HP Helion Development Platform CE Application Lifecycle Service Installer. We only need one instance, so all of the rest of these values can be left the same. Under the Access and Security tab, we want to make sure that our HP Cloud-HDP key is selected, and we check SSH because we'll want to SSH into this instance after creating it. And that's all for now. Then we come down and click Launch, at which point we see that it is scheduling and then spawning this new instance. And while it's spawning, we can click Associate Floating IP and choose the IP address that we already allocated and that we want this to apply to our HDP installer and click Associate. And now we see that our CloudBox is up and running.
To connect into this instance, we open up PuTTY. We'll be connecting into this IP address using the Debian user, so Debian at this IP address on port 22, which we already opened up. And we'll call this HP Cloud HDP Installer. And then under the SSH auth option in the hierarchy of choices over here, we want to browse to our HP Cloud HDP PPK. So this is from the PEM file that was generated for us. This is the private key that will be used to authenticate into that instance. So if we come back here, we can save this session so that it's available to us in the future, and we click Open. The first time you connect to the server using PuTTY, it will alert you to the fact that this server's host key is not cached in the registry. You can safely click Yes at which point it will log in and you'll notice that the authentication made use of the key. At this point we've made it through the bulk of the tutorial and we're ready to run the trial configure script which will actually install Helion Dev Platform. This is run as the Debian user. The first username it asks for is the OpenStack username and this is referring to your username on hpcloud.com. The password is the password that corresponds to your username to log into hpcloud.com. Any services you'd like available, you provide here as a comma separated list. You provide an admin email address, a password, and it informs you that the configuration is complete and asks if you'd like to run assemble.py. I'll go with the default, which is yes, at which point it starts building out your Helion Dev Platform installation. Now what the installer is doing is a number of things. First, it's provisioning within the hpcloud.com new VMs on which it can run the Dev Platform. It will then go on to configure those instances, installing what items are necessary, so that they're prepared to run Dev Platform. If we leave this running here in the background, we can come back over here to our Horizon interface and notice that it's already begun creating new machines. So this is our installer machine, and this is the core of the development platform that it's now in the process of spawning. Other things that it's doing behind the scenes include under access and security, the addition of floating IP addresses and security groups specific to this installation. When the installation completes, the installer script prints out some details, perhaps the most important of which is the URL to access your new Helion development platform installation. In a browser, simply paste in your new Helion Dev Platform installation, and you'll notice that it is a secure link, but that it's not a widely accepted certificate. So you have to click to manually proceed. The username is the admin email address you provided and the password you provided during the setup process. You now have development platform installed and ready to deploy an application. A quick checkpoint is if you go to the Applications tab at the top and choose to deploy an app from the sample applications. There are many applications from which you can choose. And let's deploy this simple GoEnv application. All it takes to deploy it is to click Deploy App. You choose your space. You choose where you want or which domain you want to use. And for our case, we're using our domain name .xip.io and we choose the default placement zone and we want it to start the application after deployment. We click Deploy Application. After deployment, you can see that you're given a URL on which to access this new application or you can click View App and the Go script outputs the environment for that Go application. So you now have a running 
Helium Dev Platform installation, and you can push directly to this URL and follow other tutorials that require the development platform. Enjoy!